Hey Dragon Slayers, today's video is all about the Dawn Phenomena. Don't forget to like and subscribe because it really helps the channel out. Let's get started. So the occurrence of high blood sugar after a period of fasting is often puzzling to those who are not familiar with the Dawn Phenomena. Why are blood sugars elevated if you haven't eaten for a while? This effect is even seen with prolonged fasting. The Dawn Phenomenon, sometimes called the Dawn Effect, was first described approximately 33 years ago. It is, a sta it is estimated to occur in up to 75% of type 2 diabetics, although severity varies widely and is caused by circadian rhythms. Just before awakening around 4 a.m., the body secretes higher levels of growth hormone, cortisol, glucagon, and adrenaline. Together, these are called the counter-regulatory hormones. They counter the blood sugar-lowering effects of insulin, meaning that they raise blood sugar. These normal circadian hormones surges prepare our bodies for the day ahead. After all, we are never quite so relaxed as when we are in a deep sleep. So these hormones gently get us ready to wake up. Glucagon tells the liver to start pushing out some glucose, Adrenaline gives our bodies some energy. Growth hormone is involved in cell repair and the synthesis of new proteins. Cortisol, the stress hormone, increases as a general activator. All of these hormones peak in the early morning hours and then fall to low levels during the day. Since these hormones all tend to raise blood sugar as part of preparing for the upcoming day, we might expect that our blood sugar would go through the roof in the early morning. This does not normally happen. Why? Insulin. Insulin also increases in the early morning to make sure that blood sugar does not go too high. So even in non-diabetics, blood sugar is not stable throughout the 24-hour circadian rhythm. It's just like that early morning rise in blood sugar is a very small in non-diabetics, so it's easily missed. But in people with insulin resistance, insulin has trouble putting the brakes on, and the body isn't listening to its signals. Since the counter-regulatory hormones are still working, blood sugar rises unstopped and unopposed, resulting in higher than normal blood sugar in the early morning. The same phenomena is seen during fasting at any time of the day. The hormonal changes during fasting include increases in growth hormone, adrenaline, glucagon, and cortisol, the same hormone cocktail that's released before walking. As you fast, your insulin drops, but these hormones are still causing stored sugar to be released to the bloodstream, raising blood sugar levels. Insulin moves the sugar from the blood where it can be seen into the tissues like the liver where it cannot be seen. It's like moving the garbage from your kitchen to beneath your bed. It smells the same, but you just can't see it. When insulin levels drop, what that garbage starts to move back to the kitchen, where we see higher blood sugar. Is this rise in glucose in the morning or during extended fasting something worrisome? No, not at all. Think of it this way. If you have fasted for two days and notice high blood sugar, where did that sugar come from? It could only have come from your own body, specifically the liver. That glucose molecule was always in your body, but you worry about it now because you can see it. The dawn phenomena in which you see higher blood sugars during fasting does not mean that you are doing anything wrong. It is a normal occurrence. It just means that you will have more work to do to clear out the stored sugar, and over time, fasting will do that. So that's what I've got for you guys today. Don't forget to like and subscribe because it really helps the channel out. And remember, guys, that together, you and I will slay the dreaded diabetes dragon.